Hey friends, Zen Cooney here with Heavy Indian Clubs. So, this is, a, I'm going to be using a pair of these. I made them this summer under the mentorship of Mike Romiski up in Idaho. I really love them. I made uh, this pair a little bit different in weight, uh, uh, width of handle, and uh, so on and so forth, because I like training with different weight clubs, clubs that are just slightly different in weight or maybe a different grip, just an, another neurological challenge I like to include. And Coach Tara is going to be using a pair of mills uh, made by Mike Romiski, also this summer, which I love. They're good. I don't particularly like mills, generally speaking, but this pair I really enjoy. So, and Tara loves them. I so love them. That's what we're going to be doing. So the movements, we're going to start off with uh, just your basic shield cast. We're just going to stand shield cast, nothing fancy. Then, we're going to shift clubs because we got lots of clubs and we like to use them all. We're going to uh, shift to a different pair of clubs and we will go ahead and uh, do the alternating reverse mill or what we call the reverse salute or the salute. All right. So here we are. We just start standing. Okay. Yeah. We'll swing it forward. Come up to the guard. And one after the other. Once more on each side. Okay, we're going to shift up clubs. Uh, the ones that Coach Char are using, I made this summer. We call them the Wee Beasties because <laughs> they're nice and short, but they're thick gripped and thick body. So. Uh, the barrel is cool in that one. And she, Tara likes particularly showing the, the knot. The Can knot right the here. Knot? It's beautiful. Just a, just adds more character to the club. Okay. So I had these made for me by Mike oh, several years ago. Uh, and these are exactly to my specification. The diameter of the grip, the knob, the weight, everything. So what we're going to do is the alternating mill. So if any of you that have ever done alternating mill know that the hardest part is getting it started. Once you get it started, just use good form. Now, of course, you want to know how to do the mill first, or what we call the salute. And if you haven't learned that yet, look at some of my other videos where I show that. Lots of core activation required here to do it correctly. Would you agree, Tara? Yes. <laughs> and we'll just do two more. Good. So great moves. So what we're gonna do is remind you of this. It's my 75th or some uh, 71st birthday. I'm, I'm getting older as I talk. My 71st birthday, and it's 5,223 days, consecutive days, of primal nature play. And that's, you know, all those years ago, Coach Tara, the Buffalo Thief, the incredible Dr. M, and myself, we just committed ourselves to the development of a whole new way of approaching movement where it's not coming from any kind of nonsense of boot camp and you know trying to make it super intense. It will be intense on the days that we are feeling incredibly vital. It'll be more mild on days when we need days of recovery. So whatever you're doing, always listen to your body, be attentive to your external environment as well as your internal environment, and always ask yourself, what's my present vitality level? So if it's down at a six, of course you're not gonna try and do a master blaster day. 
But if you're up at 8, 9, 9, 5, 10, well, of course, that's a day where you really go in and knock out some great work. So whatever you're doing, make it fun.